Slow food today. We're going to make Greek-style stuffed tomatoes. They're vegetarian, they're vegan. I'm not sure they started out wanting to be vegan because they are a traditional Greek country-style dish that you can find all over Greece and parts of Turkey. The ones we make are especially delicious, but they are slow food. So you need to take the time. What you also need to take is six tomatoes and three bell peppers, four onions, four cloves of garlic, two ounces of pine nuts, and some tomato paste. But that's not all. We need a bushel of mint, a bushel of parsley, three ounces of raisins, five ounces of rice, seven ounces of olive oil, and some sugar. Quite a list. First of all, we'll pour some water on the rice. Don't get excited, this is tap water. Leave it overnight or just the time it takes to prepare your vegetables. Now make a hole in your bell peppers, like this. Cut off the stalks and keep that bit because we're going to use it. Empty them out, salt them a little bit, and do the same thing with your tomatoes. Cut off the tops and scoop out the flesh. You can do that with a teaspoon, which is sort of tricky, but works. I'm told you use a grapefruit spoon, don't really know what that is. What I use is this thing. I don't know what that's called in English. We call it a Parisian spoon in France, but uh, over where you are, I have no idea. The tomato flesh goes into a blender and we'll salt the inside, just as we did with the peppers. Once all the tomatoes are emptied out and salted, off they go and we'll put them face down on a grid so they'll shed some of their water. Is that English? What's in the blender gets blended, that's why you put it there. Now to the onions. Cut them into cubes, I'm sure you know how, if not, watch. This is the easiest way. Crush the garlic, it becomes much easier to peel, as you can see. Cut out the green bit, because it's hard to digest. Crush up the garlic and cut it up a little bit. And then put onions and garlic in a pan, give them lots of olive oil and put them on the stove to heat. Don't think your work is done. Slow food, remember. Pluck the mint, cut it up with a pair of scissors in a glass. That's the easiest way. Meanwhile, your onions are done. Put in the tomato paste and the inside of your tomatoes and salt and pepper, don't forget. Mix and take it off the stove to cool. We have done mint, now let's do parsley. Same procedure, pluck, cut up in a glass with scissors. Now everything's done. Well, practically. We assemble everything. Our herbs, the rice, the raisins, the pine nuts, and a glass full of olive oil. No, that is not too much. It's going to be delicious. You'll see. Enter vegetables. Ta-da! Some sugar into them. I don't really know why, but that's what they do. Stuff them loosely, otherwise they'll explode when they cook, and you don't really want that. Same thing goes for the peppers. And now, once they're stuffed, a little bit of a puzzle. Put the hats back on the right vegetable. Hmm, I think I got that one. They look nicer when they're wearing the right size hat. Now comes my last trick. Put your vegetables head down. Turn them over. They'll dry out less. And now, because we haven't had enough olive oil, another glass of olive oil. Yeah, this is grease after all. They look nice and shiny and they go in the oven for roughly two hours. You can't really overcook them. This is slow food, remember. So two hours at 180 centigrade, 350 Fahrenheit is about right. They do look nice now, and I guess they are ready. Out they come. Okay, this took some doing, but if I could do it, so can you. Now, only advantages to this thing. It's healthy, it's vegetarian, it's vegan, makes you think of Greece, makes you think of summer. Try it, you, you, I swear you'll like it. It's lukewarm now, which is perfect, but I'll keep it for tonight because I have friends over and I'll heat it up and it's even better when it's warmed up than when it's fresh. So there are really only advantages to this thing. Now it's your turn to try.